Last time on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelists of the Ages and the Roses. Flintbot 14 engaged in an epic battle against Seto Kaiba. And now that Kaiba's been defeated, what will he do to Flintbot 14? Find out today on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelists of the Ages. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> and if you believe that, you fool, I'll tell you some swampland in the outer reaches of the realm. <laughs> Sick of my own slight points. Epic music again? Hmm, Jesus, Shizu. Why would I do that? I do it to be remembered. Indeed, at least that part of it is true. <laughs> but thanks to you, I have completed the ritual for the great summoning of the roses. Uh, what are you talking about, Seto? You lost. How could you complete it? What? what? <laughs> Listen and learn the truth is why I let you survive to this day, you third-rate amateur. <laughs> the Rose Duelist is an integral part to the Great Summoning. Hmm. For only by unleashing an absolute power from a duel can the Great Summoning succeed. Oh, so all of this... What's up, Ruse? Is basically what you're telling me. A ploy, yeah. Uh, you know, just so. Uh, <laughs> There's only one reason why I came to England and sided with the Yorkist. I needed you! I knew that once the Lord and the Catherines were cornered, Yugi, that they would turn to the High Druid and summon the only one who can wield power that is equal to mine. Wow. Well played, Kaiba, well played. The ritual for the Great Summoning gets nothing less than a high-powered duel with the Rose Duelists. <laughs> uh, the earth is shaking. What's what's going on? There's an earthquake. <laughs> and the key for the ritual is having all the Rose cards here at this hallowed site in short, in short flood. Your victory is but a hollow one. <laughs> Take it by those eight points. Ah, <laughs> the time has come to savor that which has eluded my clan for centuries. With the coming of the card guardian. Oh my god, Exodia? Uh, maybe he's talking about someone else. I will seal a pact that will ensure my rule, as well as those who will descend me throughout the future. <laughs> wow. Ooh, lightning. Now, only one person has had that entrance so far. Us. Rose Duelist. So, what will happen here? Um, nice outfit. And uh, chin? Look at the be Jafar! Disguise Jafar from Aladdin! Alright. Now, I don't remember the voice of Jafar, otherwise I would give him an iconic accent. Well, I kind of remember it. Man, Aladdin was such a good movie. Anyway. <laughs> Dot, dot, dot. Yes, he is here. The Guardian walks this world once again, Flood. <laughs> Welcome, O oh Great One. To celebrate I off your arrival, I offer you a sacrifice. Uh, what? A sacrifice? You're gonna sacrifice me? No! I offer you the Rose Duelist. <laughs> uh, it seems there's a misunderstanding here. Well, it matters not. The Rose Duelist is definitely a fine offering that only a fool would pass up. Um, I'm worried, guys. Who is this guy? All right, Mana Wyden Fablier. Yeah. So, uh, let me save here real quick, and you'll probably want to do the same. Uh, so yeah, basically, long story short, after you. Uh, after you unlock Seto, you unlock the- and this is the final battle in the game, just to warn you guys. Um, so... Let me think real carefully. What would I like to do? I could face Seto- oh, and by the way, if you want to face Seto, all you have to do, R1. Yeah, change. Or L1. Yeah. Um, there- I probably should... Get a few better cards from Kaiba before I take this guy on, but... Eh? Screw it. Like I said, we just want to go for the finale. So... 
Let's do it. Finale time. <laughs> Let's see what you are made of. Prepare yourself for battle, mortal. Oh, that sounded a uh, little... I don't know. Little... And more epic music. More duels. More monsters. Da, 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 da. Yeah, guys. So, welcome to the finale. Uh, I think we will... Believe it or not, I'm going to set Nimatori in uh, face up defense mode. Uh, its effect will double our life point gaining cards, so that's good. Uh, by the way, field, yeah, check this out. A lot of crushed terrain. You might be thinking, well, that sucks. I can't play my powerful monsters. You'd be dead wrong, my friend, because you want to know who has powerful monsters? This guy's got powerful monsters and powerful traps as well. So, uh, one thing I would advise, highly advise, anything you don't want destroyed, change to defense mode. Uh, why? Trust me, guys. Trust me. Uh, anyway, we did get Shadow Rule again, which I might honestly use here. Let's end the turn. La -da 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 -da. And you may be wondering, why is this guy so hard? Well, you'll soon see. Now, go my ritual, attack! Behold, one of the best cards in the game. That's right, guys, he just used it. Mirror Force, so. Yep, Disposable Trap triggers against the enemy when they, ever, they initiate attack. Destroys every one of your opponent's attack position cards on the field. Not just your monsters. This card will also destroy all of your spells and traps as well. So watch, watch out. Now, one thing I could do here, now that he's burned Mirror Force, well, no, 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 no. let's just play Wall Shadow once again. There we go. And this card's got pretty good defense. So I'm basically going to move Wall Shadow ahead as far as I can. And just kind of have it try to wall off this left side once again. So, yeah. But yeah, I think this guy has like three copies of Mirror Force in his deck too. Not just like one. So yeah. Definitely watch out. Definitely. Uh, let's, uh, let's actually... Oh, no. Oh, sorry, Wall Shadow. I was afraid that was a Mirror Force, but nope, that's Gorgon's Eyes, so... Yep. Permanent Trap. No defense mode after this card is up, so... Yep, so much for my Wall Shadow plan. But... I will move forward. Uh... Candle of Fate? Sure. Go ahead. Alright, well, so much for that. But that card is stuck in attack mode now. Luckily, it does have pretty decent attack, so maybe I won't have to worry about him uh, destroying our life points, but... Yeah, check this out. Force. Force. You may guys may be saying, well, what happened there? Well, I'll show you. So look, Ryoku, 99 deck cost. Reduces the opponent's life points by half and adds the reduced amount to all the powers of monsters. So this card that you just played has 3,000 additional attack. Yikes. That is scary good. Luckily, we do have Dark Hole, and I'm probably going to play it next turn. Yeah, so my plan is I'll probably play Dark Hole and then summon uh, something from our hand to attack him directly. So. Anyway, let's end the turn. Good stuff. Or maybe I should just wait on Dark Hole. And now that he's out of the labyrinth, maybe I should just wait until... Hmm, yeah, wait until he gets about right here, then move to the left and summon out. Yeah. Uh, by the way, this is some epic music, so take a listen to that. Uh, hmm. Let's see here. Well, right, I don't want to play anything since I'm in a Dark Hole. Now, you know what? I kind of want to draw some better cards, so I will waste... Uh, you know what? I'll waste Manning Plant and Invisible Wire. Yep. Waste them both, and I will end my turn. See if I can draw one of my Life Point Manning cards before... Oh, he didn't move to the left either. Darn. Eh, well, that's okay. Let's see what we get before we dark hole here. Yami. Interesting. 
interesting, my friend. But we did also get Dry Gumo, which is pretty good. Alright, let's try it, guys. I activate Dark Hole. Ha! So much for your 3,000 extra attack. All the cards are gone. And now, mana with Unfrablia. I can move forward and attack your life points directly, son. Dry Gumo, attack! Boom, got him. And let's see what all we got rid of, just for fun, just for fun. Skull Knights. Yikes. Yeah, 2650. Dark Elf. Wrecked two copies of Gravity Bomb, yeah. Permanently, eternally spellbinds your monster, reduces it by 1500. Yikes. Yeah, we got rid of some good stuff. But, uh, hopefully he doesn't... Okay. As long as you don't do that to the left side, that's what I was worried about, bro. But that right there. Now, can I draw something with 1800 attack? Oh, man, if I could have, that would have been the end of the duel. But I did get Goblin Secret Remedy. I almost want to play this just to make sure, like, no funny business happens. So, yeah, let's play this. There we go. All right, 1,000 extra points. And now what's funny is we also have Laughing Flower here. So we might be able to take control of one of his cards and attack for game. Let's just end the turn for now, though. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. Ooh, we just ended his turn. I like, I like the look of that. I like the look of that. Uh, Mammoth Graveyard. Uh, maybe I should... Well, now that he's out of the middle, I will play Yami here in the middle, just to help my zombies. But I wouldn't advise playing this at the start, because like I said, the crush strain really helps you in the end, so yeah. Uh, I will chase him down with Jirai, because if I can get it on the forest, I can move two squares. And in fact, if he moves forward, I can summon something here and try to attack him directly. Yeah, this could be good. Oh, he just ended his turn. Bro. Does he not have anything? Well, I guess we'll go with our strongest attack, which would be Mammoth Graveyard. Alright, and I'll move this onto the forest. Like I said, now I can chase him down twice. Alright, Mammoth Graveyard, attack! Man, if I had drawn any zombie there, I could have fused for Great Mammoth the gold fight and definitely finished this guy off, but... No, that's okay. That's okay. That's alright. That's okay. Yeah, move, son. Oh, no. Oh, I should have moved. Oh, thank God. Dude, if he would have played a, uh, a spellcaster there, or a fiend, he could have actually moved twice on the Yami field and attacked me. Uh, now, just in case you have a third mirror force, bro, I will switch Mammoth Graveyard to defense mode here. Alright, Dragumo, is this it? Attack him directly! And, just like that, guys, we've defeated the final boss in the game. Alright, you win. Yep, and uh, actually, what time are we at? Uh, about 14 minutes. Well, I think uh, my, uh, my phone should be about full, so I'm actually going to end this video here. And just kind of, uh, yeah, but in the next episode, we will uh, basically see what happens now that we've beaten the final boss of the game. All right, guys, thanks for watching. The uh, spectacular Yu-Gi-Oh! De La Silla Rose's spooktacular playthrough. And we will see you for the next episode, for the last episode of this series. All right. You guys have a good day. Thanks for watching. <laughs>